Hey guys, it's Max Imagination here. In this week's video, I'll show you three cool experiments you can do with neodymium magnets. So what are neodymium magnets? Well, neodymium magnets are pure alloys formed from the chemical neodymium, boron, and iron. Neodymium is a chemical element with the symbol ND and atomic number 60. It was discovered in 1885. The neodymium magnets themselves were invented in 1983, so that's not actually that long ago. So my neodymium magnet here has a grade of N48. The higher the grade of the magnet, the stronger it is, but the easier it chips. So if you slam these two together, they'll attract to each other, but also break. So you gotta be careful when doing that. And also the greater the grade of the neodymium magnet, the more weight it can carry. Mine can carry 80 pounds. Anyway guys, let's get to the fun part, which is actually doing the experiments themselves. Experiment number one is the slow falling magnet. So what you need for this experiment is a roll of aluminum foil and a magnet. Well, I technically have three magnets stacked together because the stronger it is, the slower it'll fall through the pipe. So let me show you. Take the magnet and drop it down through the pipe. As you can see, that was actually twice as slow as when you drop it like this. Let me show you, this is gravity. Like that. And now let me show you with a pipe that doesn't have aluminum foil on it. That's pretty fast, right? So when the neodymium magnet drops through the uh, aluminum foil, as you can see, it hits the, hits the table like, like as if it's dropping from here. See? So, it's a very soft landing. So this phenomenon of how slowly the magnet falls through the pipe is known as Lenz's Law. The magnetic field induced in the aluminum foil attracts the falling magnet, creating a resistance. This resistance is what slows down your magnet. So basically your magnet is creating a whirlpool of electrons around it as it falls through your pipe. In other words, the moving magnetic field creates a strong opposing magnetic field due to eddy currents in the cylindric conductor. The magnet falls through the pipe two times slower than when it falls through a pipe that has no aluminum foil around it. Depending on the pipe of your roll of aluminum foil. And guys, don't forget to subscribe and turn on that notification bell not to miss my new videos. Okay, let's get back to the video. On to the next experiment, magnetic matches. For this experiment, you will need, of course, a neodymium magnet and a box of matches. So take as many matches as you need and you're gonna light them on fire. So wait until they burn a little bit, but mainly the match heads need to burn because that's what attracts to the magnet. Okay, blow them out, and I'm going to set them on the table, and let's see if they connect to the magnet. Oh, there we go. It's pretty cool, as you can see they're attached to the magnet right now. Wow, I mean, that is strange. And let me show you, here I have some non-lit matches. They're not magnetically attractive to the magnet. That's kind of kind of weird, you know? See, they're not gonna attract to the magnet. But when, when you burn them, they do. This experiment only works with matches that contain trace amounts of metal such as iron. So this effect only works with brown-headed matches. This scattered iron oxide will have rather weak magnetic properties. However, when you burn the match, carbon present in the match can reduce the iron oxide to metallic iron. The metallic iron you get is ferromagnetic. As a result, the match will be much more strongly attracted to a magnet after burning. So only the head part of the match is magnetically attractive after burning. Experiment number three, magnetic fields of iron filings. So I have some iron filings here. This is three tablespoons of iron filings, also known as iron shavings or metallic shavings. 
So uh, you can get these at a metal workshop, which is where I got them from. It's from the, when you cut metal, you have pieces of metal that fly out underneath. So that's what these are from. You'll need also a jar and a magnet. Just tip your three tablespoons, the more the better, of your iron filings into your jar. I've got to be very careful not to get them on my countertop. Now, um, you just try them out. So, as you can see, I just grab, grabbed a bit of these iron filings and it's already making spikes. These are the magnetic fields so, of the magnet. Pretty satisfying when you just look at it. And you can see the spikes moving up and down when you move your magnet. It's pretty cool. So I just poured the iron filings back into this container from the jar. And as you can see, this looks like a hedgehog or porcupine. I don't know how you call it, but super cool, right? Just how the spikes move around. They go back and forward like a wave. And now I'm going to tip my magnet. Not like this, but like this on the rounded side. You can see as I roll it through, there's like a little ridge on each side, and the middle is like flat. It's pretty cool, right? The iron filings properties are similar to ferrofluid, which is a liquid metallic substance that spikes up as soon as you place a magnet nearby. I can demonstrate the same pattern, but with iron filings. Pairing iron filings and magnets together is probably one of the most common experiments to show magnetism. The pattern that the substance forms represents the lines of a magnetic field. And by the way, this experiment also works with ferrite magnets. So for all you ferrite magnet users out there, this is an experiment for you. Alright guys, that's about it for this week's video showing you three cool neodymium magnet experiments that you can do at home. Don't forget to check out my other video right up here about ferrite magnet experiments. The link is also in the description down below. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to like this video, comment down below, and subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't yet. Thanks for watching guys, see you next week. Peace! Oh guys, look, I made a fidget spinner from them. Ooh, I can spin them pretty quickly. <laughs>